Hi, welcome to day 17 of 30 days of AI in testing challenge by the Ministry of Testing. And my today's challenge was to automate bug reporting with the help of AI. So I have tried something similar in a previous task, but this was an absolute new task because it gave me a lot of steps that I had to do to analyze this uh, bug reporting via AI. So the first step was to experiment with the AI for bug reporting and I, I was free to try out tools. What, what I chose was Copilot with GPT-4 and Gemini. So two powerful LLMs, LLMs that most people are using. So that was my first uh, uh, task uh, decision. Second was evaluate the reporting quality based on the accuracy, completeness and quality. So I mean, I, I wanted the reports that I generate through AI to be very accurate and complete because the more accurate and complete they are, the less I have to work in editing them. So I mean, those were important quality criteria for me. And uh, then uh, were the bug reports clear and actionable enough? And for me, yes, uh, they were coming and we'll see that in the demonstration uh, that I'll just be doing in a minute. Uh, risks and limitations. So essentially uh, a risk or a potential limitation that I saw was that the reports were susceptible to certain level of false positive and false negatives if I have not given a details or if I have just given a screenshot or an image and asked it to report a bug by looking at that. But if I had given details, the chances of that was less. Uh, then was it biased towards certain type of bugs? Uh, I, I guess uh, if I was using the same window, it was getting biased towards the bugs which I had already raised in that window. So for example, if I have raised three usability kind of bugs uh, previously, then it was adding a flavor of usability bugs in the fourth issue also, even if that was not there. Now data usage and protection, something I guess that will depend from tool to tool. Uh, best to check out your company's data privacy, data security, data ownership uh, uh, topics and consult there. But for me, I mean, I've tried it I mean, I, I have not uh, been doing any project reports through that. So I mean, I, I was trying this co-pilot with GPT-4 and then Gemini open LLM modem. I guess co-pilot uh, gives you secure data for, for your personal account. So that's, that's, that was the good part. So I, I was owning the data basically. And then how were my findings? I'll, I'll talk about this. I'll talk about the quality and how it helps me in the overall efficiency of my bug reporting process. So before we start, I just want to tell about this resource, uh, Rapid Testing Guide to Making Good Bug Reports. So this was the reference document that I used from the Rapid Software Testing Methodology and uh, available on the satisfies.com website. And uh, I used the version 1.6 of this uh, PDF to draft my prompt. So how my prompt looked, let's look it down. So, this is my AI testing prompt repository. I'll put the link to this uh, repository, which has a similar prompts for different testing activities. So I mean, from test data to test cases to test strategy, multiple such topics available here. But uh, this is the section for bug reporting, which I've created today. And uh, how it starts is that I, I start with the line that I want you to act as an expert professional software testers who works on drafting bug reports for the product. So in the first line, I made it clear that what is my expectation from this. The second step is I want to draft respectful bug reports. So I've clearly mentioned I have it ha these have to be respectful. They should not be disrespectful because that will create another kind of problems based on the issue description that I will share. And I'm going to share that in the end. I've already told it. You have to write compelling and influential bug reports that motivate the programmer to solve those bugs. So I see bug reports as a selling tool where like uh, we are selling uh, something so that the developer puts their time on it. So they spend their time on it. So it is a sales tool and I've clearly also mentioned that. Now each bug report should be in the following format. I've given a format that I like, but there are different formats available on the internet for your project, for your context. So feel free to check that out uh, or experiment with that. Uh, so the first is bug title and I've written an impactful first unique summary. Uh, 
so impact first unique summary that expresses the essence of bug under 12 words comma distinctive so i want it to be distinctive i want it to be impactful and under 12 words is a good limit because sometimes i mean it could like really create long uh, sentences for the title which uh, which are not meaningful so i've clearly explained what kind of title do i expect it to create bug description write a brief description of this bug minimum 2 to 3 lines be specific and clear about the problem here also specify here why do you think it is a problem so i mean any kind of oracle any kind of issue basic 2 to 3 lines i mean clear uh, about the bug then application version which which uh, you could fill in your prompt or you could leave it and then fill it while submitting the bug test environment details uh, so details about that screenshot so i've mentioned user will attach a screenshot here and then write the next point from the next line and then consistently reducible yes thrice severity add severity between high medium low or lowest so whatever fields you are using you can give those options here impact to user share the impact of the bug to the end user risks to bug so essentially i mean these are things now what which people don't put but essentially every bug or every meaningful bug creates some risk for the business so what are the risks that this issue will create from the business point of view Ex explain that and then additional loads where like use this section to add worse side effects that may come from this issue and also explain why this bug matters and uh, bug retesting idea share a couple of bug retesting idea that the low developer may try after they fix this bug in their local version similar bug stories if something exists if no such story exists don't mention this section and you can ask me to clarify the bug if something is not clear i want you to write a clear and well formatted bug report here is the bug to report and then i will give the description so what i'll do i'll click on the copy button so which copies this uh, prompt for me and i paste it here so now this entire thing blob of prompt is here and now i have to just write the bug so the bug that i want to report is uh, that uh, user is not able to add an image above 10 mb on the linkedin comment section so i'll just write it like that user is not able to add an image above 10 mb in the linkedin comment section in the build number 114 which is a hypothetical build number i have created and uh, i want to describe it something more so i can just uh, uh write that uh, <coughs> the uh broken image icon comes up instead of the image after you upload the image and i'll use the greater than sign 10mb and now i'll click on it to submit meanwhile i'm copying this uh same issue uh, i mean same and I'll, i'll paste this also at gemini so let's see how both of them create this report but let's look at copilot so yeah so a clear title image upload failure of file is greater than 10 mb in comments when attempting to upload a image larger than 10 mb in comments is there user encounter a critical issue instead of displaying the uploaded image a broken image icon occurs this behavior presents users from effectively sharing large images within comments pretty much summarizes uh, the description and also distinguished between the title and the description so I mean, they are not the same they are like uh, uh, i mean the description is more of an elaboration of the title build version it has copied from what i gave uh, browser please it asks me to specify version here upload screenshot yes thrice uh is the consistency severity and then impact to user so users are unable to share will create frustration and confusion pure ux negative impact on user engagement potential loss of user trust in platform functionality which will will happen reduced user activity and interaction large email file are often used for sharing visual content such as infographic diagram or detailed screenshot so here it has also given examples why somebody would want to use a large screenshot uh which is good the users may perceive this issue as a limitation of the platform affecting the overall perception of the capability is true upload small image uh so i mean retesting so once you fix it like these are how you should retest it and retest it retest it for different formats and sim no similar bug report similarly by gemini uh it gives a similar 
बट आई मीन द टाइटल हैज मैंशन लार्ज इमेज अपलोड फेल्स इन लिंक गवर्नमेंट सो इट डजन एक्सप्लिसिटली मैंशन अब टेन एम बी वेर एज दिस मैंशन क्लियरली अब टेन एम बी विच आई लाइक सो प्लस वन टू को पायलट देन द डिस्क्रिप्शन Uh, here it's pretty much instead of uploading the image a broken image i can occur this occurs significantly user ability to share rich media and hinders communication effectively almost uh, equal application version same environment detail almost similar and all this now let's go and read the impact to user so users are restricted to sharing visual the limit uh, content variety and engagement potential leading to user frustration reduce platform usage decrease user engagement potential loss of competitive edge in social media landscape for professional uh, so here i mean uh, also i'll give a plus one to copilot because copilot also explained like why somebody would want to uh, in the ad additional note section whereas here con considering implementing a clear size limitation message during image selection explore alternative sol solutions like image compression upon upload to maintain so i mean it, it, it suggested something which which is good so i mean both have done pretty much uh, a good job uh, and a unique job in uh, mentioning the additional notes bug retesting ideas exceeding above 10 mb verify successful upload below 10 mb so uh, i mean here it was a another bug retesting on different formats also which it has not given and uh similar bug stories both have not given so but but all in all i mean if you see uh, both created quick good uh, good re reports and uh, professional looking more clear and i mean uh, saved some time so all in all uh, happy with that i i still feel i mean uh, copilot had a little edge in bug reporting uh, and uh, i've added this uh, prompt here in the ai prompt repository for tester so check this out check all the other prompts out and uh, that was all thank you for this day 17 task mystery of testing and see you tomorrow in day 18 bye thank you